guys, it's Vice Greenside, and I'm back with a new speed build video for you today. This house is called Brick House, uh, because it sounds like Brick House, which is what this house is. Usually I will kind of mix up the exterior textures, but I was admiring a house that I saw for real, <laughs> and wanted to, uh, that was, it was entirely brick on the exterior, so I wanted to do a fully brick house and I also wanted to use the porthole like the round windows that came in the base game I haven't used those in a build before and I don't think I'm pretty sure since at least not since I started this channel and so that were those were kind of the items that I wanted to incorporate into this build when I started off in terms of the exterior the idea behind this house is well it's a the house itself, I built it in Windenburg. It is three beds, two baths. It's it, uh, 115, wait, 114,000 simoleons. Basically, it's 113.5. Um, so that's the price on it. And yeah, my idea for it was that the family had maybe bought the house as a fixer upper and spent a lot of time fixing up the interior on kind of a lower budget. So I kind of wanted to make a lot of the um, textures and items around the house, make it look like the family had built a lot of those items as sort of like a DIY project. And of course my inspiration behind this is that I've been spending quite a bit on a bit of time on Pinterest looking at different DIY projects and there are a ton that I want to do for my house when I have the time and money but I thought I could definitely incorporate these into a Sims build for free um, <laughs> so that was a huge part of the inspiration so I spent quite a bit more time on the interior of the house than the exterior I mean, not that I think the exterior is ugly or anything it's just a little bit more simple than what I might normally do um, but my last house that I built was Tilly Manor and it was so um, the interior was so traditional and sort of expensive looking and I wanted to go for a more um, quirky and individualistic and fun um, interior in this house and I think I think I did it I think it, I really am proud of the interior of this particular house so I hope that you guys will like it as much as I enjoyed building it um, so yeah the <laughs> the whole Pinterest thing I have a little bit of a um, kind of like a kind of a little bit of a story about Pinterest I have actually slept on Pinterest for a really long time I know it's a hugely popular website and I kind of held out on getting a Pinterest account for ages um, because I it's, it's always sort of bugged me that the website won't let you look at it unless you register which I can fully understand if the website is something where the content is original and like you know if it's a magazine website like I wouldn't expect to go to Vanity Fair and get to look at the content on that website for free because it's a sus subscription service but Pinterest is like a curating website they don't actually produce the content from Pinterest it's just a place for you to go and save other content that you find around the web all in one convenient spot and so I get sort of irritated whenever I'm looking for something through Google Images and I try to go to the site to view the original image turns out it's on Pinterest and they have that obnoxious window that covers like three quarters of the page that's like you must log in you must create an account to view this content and I get it I mean it's the interwebs that's kind of par in some cases but I don't know it's just one of those things it's always kind of bugged me and so I wait I I held out but I broke down and I finally got a Pinterest account because I really wanted to use it for inspiration for building this I, like for you guys so that I can do I can get more inspiration for builds I will I will I'll break down and I'll get a Pinterest account so I did and I spent about mm, I don't know like two ish hours or so I mean not straight uh, I didn't like sp spend two hours straight on digging through Pinterest but I spent a while going through 
finding ideas, interior decorating ideas, and ex like pictures of exteriors of houses that I thought I could maybe look at as inspiration to recreate or recreate parts of it, etc., etc. And so I saved maybe somewhere in the range of like 20 or 30 pens on that first day. And the next day I woke up and I checked my email and I had an email from Pinterest that said my account had been suspended. And I was like, what? Now I didn't upload anything to the site. All I did was save some pins. And yeah, they were, it was, it said I was, I was violating their spam policy by saving too many pins that were too similar to each other. I was so mad. <laughs> I'm like, so wait, let me get this straight. I use your site like it's intended to be used and I get shut down. Really? I mean, I've been interneting since forever and um, I've never had any of my accounts ever on anything suspended or banned ever. <laughs> oh man, I was not happy. But they had a little uh, button to appeal it in the email or to appeal the decision, which I did and... Uh, they did reinstate my account, so I can't complain too much, but I was, I was pretty salty. I was, I was pretty fired up, um, when I got that email, I didn't like it one bit. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> back to the build, um, everything's fine. Pinterest is fine. I'm sorry. I know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are huge Pinterest fans. Um, I'm not knocking you. I just, mm, anyway. So yeah, these little uh, shelving units that I placed were meant to look like they had done, made their own built-in shelving units to frame the fireplace. Um, I do replace that brick that's behind the fireplace to kind of make it stand out a little bit more because it's all kind of uh, running together, bleeding together there. So yeah, there you can see. So they maybe built their own shelves around the fire. I would love to be able to paint a, I, it, it's a frustration that we can't, that we can paint the floors in quarter tiles, but we can't, we can only paint the walls in like from top to bottom. I really wish we had the ability to paint or to section the wall off in quarters and just paint the top of the wall. Cause I would have built the shelving to look like it was of course going over the top of the television and everything but just can't do that in the sims um so yeah the kitchen i brought some of the brick interiors into the interior or the brick exteriors into the interiors of the house and i really like that look i like a little bit of brick on the interior i think it gives it kind of a little bit of uh, an industrial touch um, which I think a little bit of an industrial look mixed in um, to maybe not necessarily traditional, but this is more like of an arts and crafts style of a house. So I think that mixed in can look pretty good. The cabinetry came from a DIY I saw about ki fixing up your kitchen. Um, in the DIY, the, they had painted the cabinets white and the counters in a brown and it makes sense I've actually seen that on HGTV and things that um, a lot of times they'll they'll paint the cabinets white and the counters like a darker color maybe black or brown and it keeps the you know the room looking open at the top and I like that and that's why I, I did it so that that is intentional I know the cabinets don't match the counters uh, they're not supposed to. And also, another thing is, I know that there's no fridge right now. <laughs> I it, it goes in at the very end. I, I think the fridge is my Achilles heel. Uh, <laughs> the fridge ten, is always the item that I forget for the, like, until the end. I, I, or not always, but if I'm going to forget an item, it's probably going to be the fridge, and I don't know why that is. Um, in my Sims with Disability build, when I was building that one, I almost forgot the fridge. I forgot the fridge all the way up to the video itself in Aunt Betsy's house. Usually I'll catch it in the playtesting, which is what happened in this particular case. Um, I went to have my sim cook to make sure that everything worked fine in the kitchen and the cook option wasn't even there and it was 
<laughs> there's a message that says there's no fridge available, and I was like, wow, okay. So I almost forgot the fridge, but I didn't forget the fridge, so, um, you know, don't freak out. It's in. The, it's, it comes in at the end. Um, the flooring, uh, again, that's meant to make it look like maybe they wanted to replace the kitchen floor, but didn't have a lot of money to do it, so they put together... Uh, maybe they got different tiles at like a flea market or something, bought somebody's leftovers from somebody else's home renovation projects and put it together a nice little floor that they like. And I think it looks pretty cute and it kind of complements the rest of the colors in the kitchen. And yeah, so I like to, I think, like to think that it was the family um, using sort of like scrapped tiles from other people's projects to make their own nice kitchen floor and I think it looks nice. Um, this is the main family bathroom so this is going to be the one that your kids and teens etc use. Um, the ba master bathroom does have an ensuite. I really like for master bathrooms to have an ensuite if I can fit one in. Originally in the floor plan I didn't think there would be room but I did make that work. This is another thing that's inspired by a DIY that I saw. Um, now the, the actual DIY has like a little almost sort of like house roof on it but I used that item from Get Together that's like a little archway and built some shelves up in it and use it as a framework for a little outdoor herb garden. So my idea for that is like maybe they had a lot of pots, uh, like individual pots to grow herbs so that they could quickly walk outside and grab some freshly homegrown herbs for their cooking and, uh, you know, just bring them into the kitchen really quickly. Of course, I do think an easel is really important for a build so that your Sims can make a little extra money when the bills come in in case they are having trouble paying them. And I use these, uh, the regular garden planter on the interior because I do notice that cactus or cacti, sorry, and uh, succulent plants are extremely popular in interior decorating right now. I see them all over the place and I even saw an article somewhere where somebody was saying like, uh, talking about the succulents, which I guess a cactus is a succulent technically. Oh, now I have to look that up. Okay, yeah, I just paused it and looked it up on Wikipedia and it says that not all cacti are succulents, but a lot of cacti are succulents. So, which is just a name in case you're not familiar with that term. It's just a name for uh, a lot of plant types that don't require a lot of water. I'm pretty sure that I'm no, by no means a green thumb. <laughs> I will, I can, I probably could kill a cactus. I've never actually had a cactus, but, um, I probably could manage to kill one. I'm, I'm not good with plants. And I tried once, I, I bought a Phalaenopsis orchid, but I killed it and I was really, really sad about it. So ever since then, I just kind of gave up. It was, it, actually, it really like bothered me that, it, it, <laughs> it was, it's really weird. I'm, I'm total weirdo. Like I, I felt guilty over killing <laughs> Or not be, and I didn't like kill it intentionally. I just didn't. I just, I just couldn't get the care right, and the Phalaenopsis orchid died, and I was really sad about it, like very sad about it. Anyway, <laughs> so I just, I don't do plants very often, but and also I have cats, and I worry that my cats will get into them, and if it's a cactus, that they might get pricked by it, or it might be poisonous to them, or something like that. So I'm a very anxious person. <laughs> So I yeah didn't want to, or I don't I don't keep a lot of plants. But anyway, that was a total detour from talking about the builds. This is the kids' room, and the I did play test this bed. The bed actually you can see me doing it now. I just wanted to make sure it worked actually really quickly before I continued uh, decorating the room because I made that sort of again uh, inspired by a DIY that table where somebody had attached a like a pane of glass to a side table to make like a longer um, computer desk and so that's what I did so this has a nice little 
computer desk over the bed um, setup. So that was the DIY room or inspiration in this room. And I chose yellow because I do see that as being, you know, an, a nice color for a boy or a, a girl. And so, you know, whether or not your Sim is a boy or a girl, they could enjoy this room. And then, yeah, I used a lot of the Hangout stuff packed stuff. I love that, that one, that little piece of clutter there that I put on the, the desk is one of my favorite items in the game. I would use it in every build, honestly, if I didn't think people would get sick of it. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's the kids' room pretty much done. And a lot of rooms I did accent walls, but not fully painted walls. And again, that, that has to do with, you know, the family fixing up um, the house over time and kind of, you know, limited resources to do so. So I don't picture this being a really rich family. You know, they probably have to you know, work for everything and um, maybe sell their items or something at like the flea market in San Marcino maybe? I don't know. Uh, this room I picture being for a, for a teen. It could be for a young adult, like a young, young adult. But I picture this as being for a teen that really enjoys gardening. And that, of course, makes sense for, um, you know, all the plant life and the herb garden and everything that's in the house. And so they really enjoy like sports in the outdoors and gardening. And I use that painting more or less just because it matched the color scheme really well. Um, I know it is a painting of dinosaurs, but whatever. And I chose the, the bed and dresser from the outdoor retreat pack just because it's an item that they're, they're both items that I don't use very frequently in builds. And um, I wanted to incorporate them. I actually really like that bed with the sort of, you know, headboard, branches, headboard and footboard. Um, I wish it came in more colors though. That would be really nice. Um, but yeah, so that the bed pretty much inspired the color scheme for the room. And yeah, so it's a, like just sort of like your basic teen room. And I also use this uh, little rocket ship painting. So maybe they're even a tween. It could be. All right, so <laughs> on to the exterior. Uh, the back deck, um, at first it was a, um, uh, just a smaller porch, but I decided to extend it and make it a deck with a, an indoor pool, or an indoor pool, an in-ground pool, or an in-deck pool. Um, I've noticed that in my experience in the area where I'm from, a lot of, it's much less expensive to get a pool built into a deck than into the ground. And so a lot of the people that I know or have known throughout my life that have pools have them sort of above ground pools that are built into decks rather than in ground pools. So, cause an above ground pool is of course a lot less expensive but they don't look that great necessarily when they're just sitting in the yard. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that they look bad necessarily, but I think they do look a lot nicer with a deck built up around them. So especially if the house sits up a little bit higher than the ground level, then um, it can be nice to have like a, a deck with a with an above ground pool built in to look like an in ground pool. I see a lot of twinkly lights on Pinterest and so I wanted to include some of those on the back exterior. And also you can see, as you can see, this, the backyard is built like in a split level. So um, just like the actual yard garden area in and of itself is on the ground level, but the deck and porch area are built up onto a foundation. So at this point, actually, as you can see, I still haven't done the front landscaping. And so it really, I did almost the entire build. Yeah, pretty much the entire build before I got to the landscaping. Usually I will do the landscaping or at least a front landscaping before I start the interior, just cause it kind of gets my, 
um, kind of gets everything going. I, it kind of like helps me work up my creativity or something. I don't know. It just it just kind of helps to do the landscaping first before I move into the interior. Just it's kind of like a warm up, <laughs> the landscaping. But uh, yeah, for some reason I really really tried several times, uh, and you don't see it on camera, of course, um, to build up the front landscaping first, but I just didn't like anything. So yeah, I cut to, I, I never, I hardly ever film the landscaping because it's really repetitive, but I did manage to get it together eventually. Um, these lanterns, I thought about lining the front path and, but I did take those out because I thought that they, they didn't look good during the daytime. They look okay at nighttime, but they didn't look good during the daytime. They stand out too much. So those are not in the version on the gallery. Of course, this is available for download in the gallery. The link is in the description below of the video. And we're getting ready to come up on the end. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any comments or feedback for me or um, ideas. Sorry, that was my Xbox. It loves to be loud while I'm talking. Um, but yeah, if you have any comments or suggestions or feedback, let me know. I read all your comments. I really appreciate it. Um, the fridge will go in in just a few minutes and you'll see me, add, in just a few seconds, you'll see me add some clutter on top of it as well. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this house. If you'd like to see more houses that are kind of like this, let me know. Um, yeah. So thanks guys for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.